mug dump. Those of you who have been following my videos have heard me explain this dump. Completely unlined. Which mean that means there's no liner underneath that trash right there. That's a mountain of trash. They get away with it. right there. And his ranch right next to it. He has much more than just all this. This is still all his property. desert out here. Just about every single mountain is almost a sheer cliff. As you can see, very, very steep mountains. that 
that up there. Just like they did on Badger Mountain and Tickaboo Peak. It's very prominent. I've really never noticed that before either. Sorry, I'm looking at it. You guys can't see it. I'm on the other mountain now. Right. Right up there. Yeah, it's kind of showing up. This used to be a lake right here. Years ago. But it was still here in the late 90s. But look at all the cave-ins. You would think that would uh, those would be tailings for mines. It's not. Big loader just went by from a mine. Yeah, you would think there would be a mine up there. Look at that. That's a classic tailing pile. All over the place. Just cave-ins. But look at where the water level was. It's got that big white stripe like Lake Mead has right now. Obviously not near as big. Alamo 15 miles. Coming up on the turn off to go to Tickaboo Peak. Tickaboo Peak would be right back there. The landscape changes a lot uh, between Las Vegas and Area 51. It's one of the nicest drives in Southern Nevada. Because it's, it's literally, you're, you're driving through a canyon most of the way, it seems like, between two huge mountain ranges. And here's part of the lower Perenigan Lake. told you all about how Vegas, boy, they had this water during that huge water shortage in the late 90s. Yeah, they had this water and something intervened. Renegade Valley. I think we all know what intervened. Good fishing in there too. And once a year uh, they have a contest to see who can catch the most carp and they give away prizes and everything. I've done it twice. Past Badger Road, that's the road you take going to Tickaboo Peak, I'm sorry. So if you get on this wash and if you see Upper Perenigate Lake, you know you've gone too far. There's campgrounds on the lower and upper right there, someone camping. And the jets from Nellis will fly right over here. All the time, doesn't need to be red flag, green flag, yellow flag. They'll fly over all the time. A little coffer dam over there. This is what you have to really watch out for. I've seen a lot of dead deer right around here. It's because they're trying to get to the water. And that road to Tickaboo, if any of you guys are planning on going to Tickaboo, just get a, a Garmin GPS, Garmin TomTom, -tom. And really, you know, have it mapped out prior. Because once you get out there, there is a lot of rights, lefts. Easily get lost. There's a police officer. And there's also this one section that even the Garmin will show you to take. That even in my younger days with my Jeep, Ridiculously 
and takes you through a sheer canyon, I mean very thin canyon, and oh my goodness, I mean the rocks are like, all of them, four feet by four feet, and just everywhere, I guess some people have taken it, I, I've never seen actually anybody take it, of course I could probably get the jeep through it, I've heard people have gone through it, I'm not going to destroy my jeep going through that. Yeah, the ranchers out here are very well off. The people in Alamo are very well off. I believe in one of my videos, I, if you guys are, you know, interested in uh, Ralph Lamb, the old sheriff of Vegas, he made national news everywhere for taking down the mafia and everything. But there's a special like a four series special, Dennis Quaid plays Sheriff Ralph Lamb, but he actually had his ranch out here in Alamo. Because at the very beginning, it shows a two prop plane coming over his herd, which scattered his herd, and Dennis Quaid rides on his horse to what was McCarran, but McCarran Airport was where Nellis is right now. And he goes up to the one that plans the flights and all that and socks him right in the nose for spreading his herd. This is the beginning of Alamo. Ranch for sale. Well, that's gotta be a pretty penny. If you guys wanna donate, we could all buy it. And we'd be really close all the time. Very good. That four series movie is called, I believe it's just called Vegas. I'll make sure. Alright, now we're coming into downtown. Downtown Alamo. Where I gotta top off and get some gas. Elevation 3,450 feet. Cemetery is really neat. It's a small version of what they have in Goldfield in Virginia City. It's really neat. Alamo's a lot older than what people think. There's the main gas station, and there's the road. That houses the Bluebird bus where all the trouble is. Wait a minute, you guys. There's no front license plate on that car. What? What the heck? Hmm, I guess they just ticketed me for that. The sheriff that got into that trouble right there was in there and I talked to him for I don't know almost 10 minutes he's actually a very nice guy very nice guy I feel the sheriff department out here is under you know extra stress due to Area 51. But I also feel they have a good life out here. Yeah, that sheriff and I talked quite a while ago. And everything's good. I'm glad he still has his job. I really am. Very, very nice guy. Again, you see how they flood the fields here? The aquifer is, it's unbelievable out here. That's why Vegas wanted to tap into it and take all the water. One of Vegas's biggest arguments, which they felt they didn't even have to argue anything, was that Alamo, the ranchers, would just open a valve 
which they do, and just flood their fields. Sometimes they would flood fields that had nothing on them. So. I'm actually glad Vegas didn't get that water. It's not theirs. If Vegas needs more water, put a moratorium up. It's where this is all we can build. Cowboy's Dream. I have never been to this bed and breakfast, but I hear it's very, very nice. Okay, we are now heading towards Ash Springs. I'm keeping my eye out for any kind of jets because they should be flying by real soon now daytime mission and there's something I want to do on the way but it'll be right there so hang tight everybody I hope you're enjoying this video I like to show what's in between Vegas and here because I know a lot of you fly in from different states gosh even different countries I see it all the time sorry rent a car and drive out here so, hope this helps you out. Let's look at the valley one more time. So right over that range is Badger Mountain and Tickaboo Peak. And Area 51 would be actually a little bit back this way. But we have to go all the way down and then around through the mountains and come on out on Extraterrestrial Highway 375. Alright, see y'all in a bit. Y'all. Okay, this is Ash Springs. This is where I like to sleep, right there in front of that two-story park. I can't believe Green Valley Grocery from Vegas bought that store. sandwiches, fish and chips, really good fish and chips. They'd make them right there. Not anymore. All right, we're coming up on the Caliente Ely, Rachel Tonopah Junction, and the Jerky Store, and that's an Area 51 worker. One must have called in. Seventy five. See the three eighteen goes to your right where that trucker is going. That's going towards Heiko. And the 375, right here. Brand new extraterrestrial sign. Look at that. Not one sticker on it. Just look at this. I wonder when they put this up. This is different. They have reflectors in it. All right, look at all the reflectors along the top there. Then, right there, right there. 
right by the stealth, two of them. Very smart. Very smart. I wonder how long it's going to take for, and they painted the pole. Good. Look at that, Las Vegas. DOT 123.19. Good grief, they just put this up. One twenty three, they put that up. It's the last time I was through here two weeks ago. Still the old one. That is good. Now, if people can just keep their stinking stickers off of it so they keep putting them up. This sign will really mean something right now. I have been noticing extra amounts of cattle on the road. In the Alien Research Center, built by Martin and Harris. And it's open. There's a bunch of moo moos now. Those are fenced in though. Those aren't open grazers. Open range next 110 miles. See all those cattle? All open range. I've been seeing a lot of cattle this road a lot. Here we go. Low flying aircraft. Let's hope. Red flag, come on guys. Give me a low level flight. Alright everyone, I'll see you when I get just over Groom Lake Road. Or I'm sorry, Groom Mine Road. That's what it is. Built by the Sheehan family. You can see Tickaboo Peak right there. And part of the Badger Mountain. Just covered in snow. Would not be a good time to hike that right now. Not at all. Been an easy job figuring out a road going 
into, you know, the Tickaboo Valley for Area 51. You know, you would, would have thought they would have tried a little bit more south. The Tickaboo Peak Wave, that's just impossible. Still, they went over a heck of a mountain here. Now you can really see the mountain. They closed the 375 a few times uh, last month. We got so much. There it is. Hancock Summit. 5,592 feet. Our descent. And it doesn't take long to where you can see into the Tickaboo Valley. And I'll just keep you rolling because we are just about see through mine road and I can see it and you should too right now and there's a camo dude BAM hopefully I got him hopefully Dogs look brand new. Have to review that and see. Just gonna perch here for a little bit. I can hear a couple jets overhead. The white bus should be coming pretty soon. This is going to really upset him. I don't mean for it to upset him. There's a lot I want to film around here. Just filming the skies now is something I want so Stay tuned.